nice to see you again. Let's go over our rows. Give me five. Everyone take a seat. Eyes are looking up here. Ears are listening. Mouth is quiet. Hands down. Let's sing hello. Will it be Wallaby Doo? We'll say hello to you. Will it be Wallaby Doo? Everyone say hello to everyone. Hello there at home. And give me a wave. Hi. And our finger play today goes like this. Get your little fingers out and they're going to be walking. Climb, climb, climb up the hill of snow. Jump on our sleds and down we go. Whee! Let's do that one more time. Climb, climb, climb up the hill of snow. Jump on our sleds and down we go. That one's fun. And some stretches today. I was thinking we would do a little bit of yoga stretching. Or just stretching, stretching. Can we stand up? Everyone reach up tall like a pencil or reach for those snowflakes. And then we're going to let them fall down, twinkling, twinkling all the way to your toes. And then we're going to jump out like a star. And look over to the right and look over to the left. We're going to bend a knee and do clock hands again. Elbow down, arm up. And then come back like a star. We're going to bend the knee, arm down, reach up. Nice job. Star. Pencil. Touch your toes. Good job. Okay, I'm going to sing a song today. One we've been practicing all month with bells. It's called Jingle Bells. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Over the hills we go, laughing all the way. Ha ha ha, bells on bobtails ring. Make these kids cry. What fun it is to laugh and sing a silly song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. drop a white mitten in the snow, it will be hard to find, his grandmother told him. But Nicky wanted snow white mittens so much that Bubba made them for him. When he, when she finished knitting, Nicky put on the mittens and went out to play. It wasn't long before a mitten fell off. There it is. A little mole found it and crawled inside the mitten. It was just the right size, so he decided to stay. A rabbit came hopping by. He wiggled in next to the mole. Now there's two animals in there. A hedgehog wanted to get warm. The mole and the rabbit made room for him. Now there's three animals. Who's next? The owl didn't want to be left out, so the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog had to move over. The little mitten was getting crowded. One, two, three, four animals are in there. A badger looked out of his house and saw the mitten. He climbed right in. How many animals now? Five. It started to snow, so a fox pushed his way in and made himself right at home. Now there's six animals. 
Oh, the big bear stuffed the, sniffed at the mitten. The animals were packed in tight, but the bear didn't care. He crawled in anyway. The mitten was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Then a tiny mouse squeezed in and perched herself on the big bear's nose. The mouse's whiskers tickled the bear's nose. Achoo! The bear sneezed and all of the animals went flying out of the mitten. You see them? The mitten went flying in the air. Nikki saw his mitten sail up. From the window, Baba watched Nikki catch the mitten. See Baba, he called. I have both my mittens, and Bubba smiled. One mitten is big and one is small. The end. All right, I'm gonna go get my big bear and my small mouse. You need glue and a marker. Here's my big bear. I'm gonna glue him on the page just after I write my name.